294 being told about the hepatitis C to 2001 being told that I received six batches of implicated VCJD blood from a, a victim that had passed away and then uh, last September I get told that due to the hepatitis C the liver is forming um, liver cancer and tumours are growing so now I'm on the priority list for a transplant basically. Has anyone uh, paid you any kind of compensation or uh, accepted any kind of blame for this? I, I love the way the government like the use of compensation because compensation implies liability has been accepted mm. and to date no haemophiliac has received any compensation whatsoever. We've been drip fed appeasement money basically since 1989. Uh, also extraordinary in just how long they have taken to respond each step of the way. Why should it be seen extraordinary? If somebody's guilty of something, they think they're not going to get a, a positive response from government. In 1991, they conceded to a moral obligation. Now, anybody who knows anything about politics, government do not concede to any moral obligation unless they think they hold a legal one. And they conceded to a moral obligation. About the Archer's report today, it's just regurgitating what was reported in 91. It's just basically the same data. So when, when this report says horrific human tragedy, it does not apportion blame? No. I think he, he felt very conscious of the fact that because it was an unofficial inquiry, therefore he didn't have any insurance cover to be in sued for what he may or may not say, um, that he was very careful in, in the words he chose. But certainly it's been a, a horrific sequence of events, but tragedy and disaster imply accident. Tell us I don't perceive it was ever an accident. Yeah, <laughs> tell us about your family and, and um, the, the sort of ramification it has had on all of you. It's had a profound uh, effect on me um, as far as it's taken away my complete control over providing for my family. I've had to rely on the whim of government giving me uh, charity handouts for the past 15 years since work was just unattainable for me to con continue. I mean, I'm a qualified carpenter and that should suggest why would a haemophiliac become a carpenter if he was really worried about cutting himself and bleeding to death? That is the whole point here. All the products that came from America were brought into this country under the premise that they were life support therapies, meaning if we didn't receive them, we would die. Incorrect. But to get them through the, the process of vetting, they had to be deemed as life support therapies. Uh, you, you chart something that has gone on for decades now. We were talking about that, this all having started in the 70s mm. and 80s. I mean, 1971, basically. Yeah. Well, so however many years that mm. is, 36, 37. Yeah. What should happen now? I think government should swallow their pride and take their medicine and say they're sorry and deal with this properly. If they don't want to concede to any legal liability, that doesn't mean to say they can't address the matter from a legal perspective. Because uh, we have arrived at a point where still nothing has been sorted. I mean, um, in the last two years, you said another 30 sufferers Another 30 have died, have died since I So every delivery. year that this happens is another family. Mm. The death rates now are greater than they were in 1990. And, and the haemophilic community is diminishing by 15 to 20 on average every year. And I just wonder whether you see any sign of that change of heart, that kind of apology coming um, from the government, them taking their medicine. I'm a very optimistic person. And without hope, then really you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. So I always hope that they will have a change of heart. Um, I think we really need to say it as it is, because there's current ministers who are actually still in Parliament. Kenneth Clark is one, for instance, he was Health Minister at the time, um, who remained silent. Well, I'm sorry, to remain silent in the knowledge of an injustice, to me, is, as far as I'm concerned, an accomplice to the whole tragedy. Hayden, thanks so much for You're coming welcome. in. Thanks very much indeed.